I was just a new person in a new city and I got to meet new people and befriended quite a few of these people and the patrons at this restaurant. I enjoyed, you know, my cocktails. So I was out one night in 2012 and I was actually designated driver, so to say, maintaining my one drink an hour and called it a night. As someone who has always prided themselves on being a social butterfly, I took it upon myself to probably have one too many on a particular evening. So I figured I could drink two or three beers, feeling fine to drive home. I decided to get behind the wheel of my car. Unfortunately, I was arrested for uh, DUI didn't understand why I was being arrested. I know that I did not do anything wrong. Um, I had not had anything to drink that day. Uh, neither have I had any drugs in my system. Uh, however, the officer uh, was persistent on pursuing me. DUI arrests happened to everybody, it happened to good people. And the problem with the DUI arrests are that they are based mainly on incorrect science. The field sobriety evaluations have a lot of errors and in fact are almost 50% wrong when they are studied at a scientific level. Issues involve science, personal relations, knowledge of the law. It's taken me 25 years to get all these things combined to be able to analyze a case, see the weak points in the state's case, which may seem overwhelming at first. Got a lawyer, the first law firm that I was working with said that it was a pretty easy open and shut case. Literally about four or five years, going to court multiple times, uh, many circumstances that should have ended the case by a much earlier timeline, it didn't. So finally I went with uh, Greg Willis, and he was very much a knight in shining armor. One of the things that is important is to find an attorney that can relate to a jury and relate to you. My job is to win your case, but not only is my job to win your case, my job is to ease your anxiety through this process. We take to heart your personal situation. We know that a conviction can be devastating to you. We know that there's complexities about your ability to drive, your ability to get to work, your ability to support your children. These things have got to be conveyed along with the, the legal issues in your case to make people understand why you're different. Just even talking about it and mentioning it now, uh, it's, it's really tough. You know, I have kids and a wife at the house and, you know, when you're a good person, you know, trying to provide for your family and, you know, working every day and doing what you have to do uh, to get faced you know, with that type of situation is really difficult. Most people are very anxious and nervous about going through the process and the one thing we do in my office is we try and answer all your questions and make you comfortable knowing that we know the ins and outs of the court. We also know the technical issues on DUIs and we keep you informed as to the process as it goes along. During that whole time, it was whenever I had any questions or it, whether it was an email or a, a phone call leaving a voicemail, you know, I would always get, you know, a response, you know, in a timely manner. You know, he hands out his cell phone number. I've not met an attorney that did that, you know, but he answers the phone. Tom is a great guy. I felt like he really cared about my situation. I felt he did everything he could. He was a straight shoot. He's a straight shooter and he's a realist. And um, but he he listens to everything you have to say. You know, if he feels there was some wrongdoing, he's going to hop in and do what he needs to do. So we want to take that burden off of you. We want to work with you as a team to resolve these problems and get you back to enjoying life and doing the things you need to do without having to worry about this kind of thing marring your life and, 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 and something you'll have to deal with for the rest of your life. Well, I was terrified applying for grad school that I wasn't going to be able to get in. It was going to go on my permanent record somewhere, you know, and then applying for jobs and knowing I wanted to go into government affairs, that was very important to me. Greg is one of the people who are able to provide the client with exactly what they're looking for and that's a reassurance that they are going to be okay where many attorneys I believe will not provide that to you. They may get the results you want but it'll be a stressful time waiting for the process to play out. Each of these DUIs is important to me. These cases do not define you and will not define you. We appreciate that uh, this is a trying time for you, a confusing time for you, and a scary time for you. We try to make you understand what's happening, what the remedies are, what we can do for you. I want to say it was about three to four years, I want to say, overall, where this 
DUI um, hung over my, my, my head and was a part of my life and I, I'm still building my, my, my business. I, I eventually, you know, I, I met a girl, which is today she's my wife and I, I was able to continue my life and, and build it to, to where I am now, which is in, 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 a, in a great place. I'm very happy with my life today and I can say that the weight of something like this could have crushed all that. Don't stress about it, don't be upset. Greg is somebody that is, provides you the opportunity to relax and enjoy life while you let the process play out. What we will do is we will defend you in the best manner possible to get you out of the DUI and to minimize all of your consequences through this process. We appreciate you put your trust in us, we take that seriously, and we do everything we can to leave you better off than when we met you.